All right, Leif knows I just love shiny things. Uh, this came out of Sweden. It is an LZ made in Hungary. I've actually opened up a Tudius before. I didn't know they made different grades of finish. This is fully chrome. Whoop, very cool. I, I think the bidding on this guy either was hand selected by Leif or is also an upgrade. You see it's a five pin lock and we've got three super low cut ones in the front protecting those high cut ones in the back. It's going to be very difficult to get through this pretty paracentric warding here. I'm not going to be able to work from the bottom of the key. Let me grab a pick here. I'll show you why. Oh, it's too thick. It's going to have to be a thin one. All right. It will not work from down here because that warding will completely block access to the pins. I'm going to have to pick from this edge and kind of go up at an angle. And I'm trying to see if that pick will roll around that. It doesn't look like it will. Maybe I can force it. Yeah. If not, I've got some bolt cutters. Anyway, it does work. Uh, 90 degrees, and it's a mechanical locking pawl. You can see it rotating in there. So that's connected to the actuator of the lock. We're not going to be able to shim this. So it, if I can't pick it, it really will require those bolt cutters. All right, let's try it. Um, I'll use this pick. Let's try. That's too thick. Try that guy. Get him out of here. And let's go in like this. Light tension and see what we got. Look for a binder. Pin three, little click. There was a second click on pin three. Pin five kind of mushed, but I got no click. That was pin one. Pin four mush, no click. Okay, those are good indications. I mean, we've already seen the key, and I suspected with a short hook like this, that probably would happen. And indeed, my worst fears have come true. All right, I can't reach up high enough around that curve to pick those two high uh, pins in the back. So let's try, if what you're doing doesn't work, try something different. I'm gonna try this guy. This is by Rare Elements. It is a 10,000th, very, very flexy pick. So hopefully I don't break him, if I can even fit him in there. Get in there. There we go. All right, so I'm going to try to force him up around that curve. Get around there. Don't break. He's caught. Dang it. Come out of there. There we go. Ah, there we go. I'll take it. So that was the trick, is to force the tip of a very thin pick up around See if I can make it happen here. I don't know if you'd be able to see that or not. But when you really put pressure on it like I was doing, the tip of that pick will bend far enough around there to get any of those high cut pins. So anything where you push it up, it just mushes, it just slides up without giving you any feedback, any kind of clicking that tells you it probably did not set. And that was the case, uh, I think, on pin four there. Anyway, guys, there you go. The Tudius made by Elzit, all the way from Sweden, from Leif. Appreciate your time, guys. Stay safe, stay legal. If you want this lock, Leif told me I can give them away. So just leave a comment, and my webmaster will randomly pick one of you guys, and I'll send it out. Thanks, guys.